Charts and dashboards are powerful ways to communicate insights with data. In Dataiku 10, four notable enhancements were added to visualizations in Dataiku. Dashboard filters, number formatting, chart axis ranges, and custom color assignments. To interactively apply filters to slides in your dashboard, simply add a filter tile and assign the dataset which contains fields you'd like to filter by. In this case, we'll use a table from which we've already published an insight. Next, choose the columns you wish to expose as slide filters. Over in the Edit tab, pick the values you want dashboard viewers to see selected by default and click Save. The resulting tile filters all the objects on the page. Note the black filter icons. And if you export the slide as a PDF or image, your selections will be preserved. Next, let's look at several new ways to enhance charts, starting with number formatting. When reporting numeric values, it's common to format numbers as currency, percentages, or to configure display units to give viewers the right level of context. To do this in a data IQ chart, Open the Measure Edit menu to choose your desired display units and the number of decimal places to show. Add a prefix such as a currency symbol or perhaps a suffix such as a unit of measurement. Once you're done formatting the numbers, go ahead and publish the chart. The dashboard consumers will appreciate the extra clarity. Another way to enhance chart readability is to define fixed axis ranges. For instance, in these two charts, because the shapes of the distributions are similar, it's easy to conclude the two countries have similar purchase behaviors. And they do when it comes to item price. But the scale of the y-axis is a bit misleading. There are nearly four times as many purchases in the United States as in China. Let's show them both on the same scale so viewers can more easily compare the countries on an absolute basis. When configuring the chart, open the Axis Edit menu, in this case for the Y axis, and change range from Auto to Manual. By setting both line charts to have a fixed range, we can tell viewers a different story with the same data. And finally, let's talk about color. Sometimes you want to assign specific colors to particular labels and have them remain consistent, even if that value is filtered out. For instance, if you're analyzing the sentiment of survey comments, rather than using the default color palettes, you may always want negative sentiment shown in red, positive in green, and neutral in gray. When configuring a chart with categorical values, you can assign whatever color you like to a given value in the color palette menu. Now in this chart, those specific label values are shown in the selected colors. Even if you filter out some values, the colors you assigned will persist instead of sliding up to the next open color in the default palette. Try out the new dashboard enhancements on your own projects and deliver powerful visualizations more easily than ever. Happy charting!